Good morning, students. Today is April twenty fourth, Friday. So let's go over the homework from yesterday, Thursday, PME page twenty four to twenty five. So this is the top part for page twenty four, and it's the complete multiplication table. And、um, let's say、um, for five times nine, you have forty five. So is the case if you flip the two numbers, nine times five, you also have forty-five. So for question twelve, as I said yesterday,、um, three times six,、uh, you have the same answer as、uh, six times three, and so as、uh, nine times four is actually equals to four times nine. And question fourteen, five times of three. That means three will appear five times. So we have five groups, and each group we have three. And、uh, C is the answer. Three times five.、Uh, five refers to the number of groups. And question fifteen, four times six. That means six times of four.、Um, six is the number of groups. That means、uh, we'll see. The number four six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So A is our answer. And this is the top part of page twenty-five. Question sixteen:、uh, three apples on each plate, and we have four plates. So three is the number of items within a group. So we put it here, and four is the number of groups. So three times four, we have twelve. Twelve apples. Seventeen, question seventeen. Eight roses in a bunch, and we have five bunches. So once again,、uh, eight roses、uh, within a group. So we'll put it first, and then five is the number of groups. So we'll put it after. So eight times five equals forty. So forty roses. And question eighteen.、Uh, each cake costs nine dollars. Remember,、uh, try to treat the dollar amount. Um, imagine as if like we have nine one dollar coin, so nine items. So we have nine items within a group. So we put it first, and then、um, Mrs. Ho buys half a dozen cakes. So six will be、uh, the number following the multiplication sign. So nine times six, we have fifty four dollars. So she pays fifty four dollars. This is the bottom part of page twenty-five, question nineteen. Each cable car can carry six passengers. How many passengers can four cable cars carry? So、uh, six is the number of items within a group, and we have four groups. So six times four, and we have twenty-four. And the、um, sentence should be on the bottom. Four cable cars can carry twenty-four passengers, and this is the column form. And question number twenty. My sister drinks two glasses of milk each day. How many glasses of milk does she drink in a week? So there are seven days in a week. So we、uh, make the multiplication equation like this: two times seven. Two is the number of items within a group, and we have seven groups. Because we have seven days, so two times seven equals fourteen. So she she drinks fourteen glasses of milk、uh, in a week, and this is the column form. So please turn to book two D page seventeen, part A in the pet shop. Question number one: There are ten dogs in the pet shop. Put two dogs in each group. How many groups are there? So right now we know that、um, in each group. There are two dogs, and we want to find out、uh, the number of groups. So we'll、uh, separate the dogs、uh, with the dotted line, and、uh, each group there are two dogs. So we know that after、um, separating the dog, the dogs with the dotted line, we end up having five groups here, or the other. Way you can do it is to、uh, circle two dogs at a time. So this is something new for you guys. This is the column form of、uh, the division problem. 
So uh, this is uh, the division sign in the column form. And uh, inside the division sign, this is the total number of dogs. And then on the left side of the division sign is the number of dogs in each group. So here 2 times 5 and here also we have 2 times 5 equals 10. 10 is the number of dogs grouped. And then we'll draw a line here. It's just like we're doing a normal um, subtraction problem in the column form. So 10 minus 10 we have 0 number of dogs left. So there are no dogs left here. So 10 divided by 2 equals 5. So this is our answer. And there are 5 groups. Question number 2. Divide 12 cats equally into 4 groups. How many cats are there in each group? So 12 being the total number of cats. And right now we know that uh, there are four groups. So group one, two, three, four. And uh, we want to find out the number of cats within a group. So uh, the horizontal form for the division would be 12 divided by four. And this is the column form. So this is the division sign and uh, we'll put the total number of cats inside the division sign and then um, outside of the division sign we'll put uh, the number of groups so we know that 4 times 3 equals 12 so for the time being uh, you can keep the multiplication sign here but in the long run, we will not uh, write that. So if uh, you find that uh, it will be easier for you to uh, remember that uh, the number of uh, groups times the number of uh, cats within each group will equal the number here. It's okay to put the multiplication sign for now, but in the long run, you should um, skip this uh, multiplication sign. And also, um, we do not actually write uh, the minus sign here. So you'll have to bear in mind that uh, we're doing a subtraction question here. So whatever goes underneath will be subtracted from the number here. So 12 minus 12, it will be 0. And we do not need to write the, the 0 when there's uh, no remainder. So there are three cats in each group. 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Question 3. 15 divided by 5 equals... So we'll put it in the column form. The total number uh, goes inside the division sign and then uh, the number of groups goes outside the division sign and then we'll try to think of uh, the multiplication table so 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 2 is 10 5 times 3, 15 that's exactly this number here so we'll put the 3 here 5 times 3 equals 15 so once again we should skip the multiplication sign and also the minus sign here. So 15 minus 15 is a zero and we do not need to write a zero when there's no remainder. Question number four, 27 divided by three equals, so we'll put it in the column form, 27 goes inside the division sign, three outside of the division sign, and then instead of um, 
try to think of uh, 3 times 1, 3 times 2. We can uh, start from a larger number because 27 is a much larger number. So we can start from something like 3 times 7. And we know that 3 times 7 equals 21. 3 times 28 equals 24. And there, 3 times 9 equals 27. Exactly our number. So notice here, we skip the multiplication sign. So just bear in mind that we are doing a multiplication here. 3 times 9 equals 27 here. And then 27 minus 27. We have a 0, but there's no need to write the 0. So there, this is our answer. 27 divided by 3 equals 9. Question number 5, 48 divided by 6 equals, so 48 goes inside a division sign, 6 outside of the division sign. And then we'll try to think of the multiplication table for 6. So we'll start, because this 48 is a large number, so we'll start from a larger number. So 6 times 6 equals 36, 6 times 7, 42, 6 times 8 equals 48. So there our number here. So remember 6 times 8 equals 48 and 48 minus 48 is 0. There's no need to write a 0. So 48 divided by 6 equals 8.